two videos, we went ahead and placed a tracking code on our website to track visitors. We placed three different text files on our DNS to allow deliverability of our emails. And now we're going to set up our CNAME. To set up our CNAME, we're going to go back over to Admin and Domain Management. The CNAME is also known as a tracker domain. It really gives our visitors a seamless transition between pages and forms that you host and also your Pardot assets. Pardot uses the primary tracker domain you choose for vanity URLs and link rewriting. As you can see, I already have two of my own Pardot C names, and then we have the default, which is uh, Pardot's default, go.pardot.com. So I want to go ahead and add in a new tracker domain. I'm going to go ahead and hit add tracker domain. And I'm going to do a www.kellymetter.com. And I'm going to go ahead and create tracker domain. All right, so here is my domain. Here is my validation key. And we'll notice that it's not validated. So the two things that we need to do now is we need to jump in to our DNS management and we need to add a new C name. And we'll have to validate this C name. Validating our C name really just gives us an extra layer of security uh, within our C names. A lot of other companies do this, such as Google validation. They do their site validation where you place in this text file and Pardot's upping their security and doing the same thing. So the two things that we need to do to go ahead and create the C name is one, we need to create our C name and two, we need to place the text file onto the root of our domain. So let's jump back over to our DNS management. So we're over in our DNS management and I'm going to add in a new C name. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and hit add. And then let's, let's select the C name. The host is going to be our um, www.kellymetter.com and it's going to point to go.pardot.com. Again, you'll end up placing whatever your C name that you want in here. The two most common C names is either go.yourdomain.com or www.yourdomain.com. I'm going to hit save. So I'm going to refresh just to double make sure that we do have that C name in here. And here's our www2 that points to go.pardot.com. So I'm gonna jump back over to my domain management and here's my WW2 here to check to see if this really is working. I can copy this, open up a new tab, and then when I hit enter, this should take me to my website. It should redirect to my website. If it doesn't take me to my website, then I know there's something wrong. Great, so as we can see here, it did redirect me to my website. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and grab the validation key and I want to place it on my domain, on the root of my domain. So I'm going to go to our tools and I'm going to do a download validation file. And then I'm going to go ahead and add this to the root of my domain. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. If you have access to your website root domain, you can go ahead and add it via FTP, uh, any other resources that you have, um, drag and drop into your root domain. It's going to be different for everyone, just really depending on how you grab access uh, to your website. Again, this might be something that you need to loop in both your either your web management team or your IT team. I will have specific directions for you to send to them um, on this course. I also use GoDaddy to host my website. You can jump into GoDaddy under My Hosting. You can find how to grab your FTP user, which will be right here. I can go ahead and view this FTP user. I also use a free program called FileZilla. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that over here. I'm gonna show you how easy it is just to jump in. I'm gonna grab my host name and copy that. I'm gonna jump in here and add that into here. I'm going to add port 22. I'm gonna grab the username. And some of this information is going to be blocked out for you just because of my own security for my hosting. And then I'm going to put in the password and I'm gonna do a quick connect. 
we'll hit OK. Perfect. So here is my root of my website. As we can see here, we have our robots.txt, etc. So what I want to do is I do want to grab that file and I want to place it right into here. So I'm grabbing my file and I'm going to drag and drop and place it right onto the root here. Perfect. I do have a successful transfer. So I'm going to connect out of here. I'm going to jump back into here. All right, so we went ahead and we added that text file in. Now, because um, this is something we added into our hosting, it can take a little bit for Pardot to validate this. I highly doubt if I check validate now that it will validate, but I'm going to do it anyways just to show you what to do. And you'll see it's not validated yet. I did double check that the file is in there. So I'm going to go back a little bit later in this course to check to make sure that uh, everything is uh, validated. Awesome. So now that we've set up our tracker domain, we're technically ready to start sending emails. In our next section, we're going to go over how to set up users so we can send emails on the behalf of those users.